overlocking. Um, I'm really impressed by the world that was created here. It's, it's clearly well thought out from the costuming to the imagined technology. I also thought it was interesting how we used uh, the use of slow motion as a transition. I noticed when he got his powers. Um, also the SFX makeup, the needle in the eye, very believable, very impressive, great fight choreography. You have this hero awakening in this mining farm powered by brains and he has no memory of how he got there and you know this whole idea of the goal is to administer this mysterious injection you know and that being like the main thing and so when we see the vfx of the injection actually going into the eye instead um it's really really interesting you know so him discovering his powers all of these things you know it really came across in the um in the way this was presented in the performance as well. Overclocking? I thought this was wild. And all of the information that they kind of gave leading up to it with their very, very quick, efficient way of kind of world building in a sense of introducing you to, you know, what was kind of going on, what was normal, what was the, those kind of circumstances surrounding essentially like what you were about to see, but really giving context to how things kind of operated in a normal way and what all of those things meant. And then, you know, like I said, a very, very quick, efficient way of world building before it drops you in to this like very, very crazy, out of control, like chaotic scene which I think is what obviously like they were very much going for but I liked that they did all of the explanation everything at the front of it like at the very beginning before anything was really crazy or like before there was much happening because a it forces the audience to pay attention and actually read and absorb what is going on because there's nothing else to really look at. I mean, like, it's obviously stylized and stuff like that, but I think that that was really smart, especially for the, like, extreme world that they were gonna drop us into. Um, and I think without that, or if it had been kind of given while other things were going on, we wouldn't have understood as the audience, like, understood the full, like, ramifications of him waking up, him being able to, you know, move and do all of these things. I don't think that would have been absorbed as much. And I really, really appreciated how they kind of set it up. Um, and then beyond that, I thought it was really fun. I thought the action was great. I thought it was raw and gritty. But when you think of it in the context of it being in this kind of farm, I think that's exactly how it would be. I don't think that it would be like super you know pristine or anything like that i think that it would be pretty raw and gritty and the people that were you know administering at least that part of it probably wouldn't be the super high up people they were probably higher relatively recently like to train just to do this one thing and you know at that point if everybody is in a you know sort of vegetative state or in, you know in a coma then you wouldn't need people to be like super trained on how to deal with them waking up or con like confrontation or anything like that um so overall i thought it was really really well done and a really really chaotic and intense overclocking is a sci-fi experience as the group of doctors are giving pressure for an individual to make an injection before the uh half human half robot uh, awakes uh, and because he does not do so there is consequences for the group of scientists as this person comes to life enters an act of survival mode knowing it's them or me and in doing so this uh, half human half robot uh, ends up wiping out the entire group. Uh, I think there's some nice um, humorous bits within this piece despite this intensity of the situation. There is humor in the fact that he doesn't make the injection and that in 
doing so, there's this bit of uh, the needle going into his counterpart, uh, his partner in crime, per se's eye, and you really feel for this character the prosthetic makeup that is done for this part. You see uh, how this wound has developed in just a short amount of time and you kind of have that ooh, kind of feeling. And that means that, that that team has done a great job in really showcasing that experience for its audience. Um, I thought this was a nice little short bit that could be expanded into a larger project. I thought this was a nice way to pitch potentially a larger story at play. This film was called Overclocking. Wow, what an exciting sci-fi short. The intensity of this film was off the charts and what a gripping storyline. I love the pulsing high energy soundtrack, really edgy and powerful, perfect for creating suspense. What also set this one apart for me were the high tech props and wardrobe pieces, notably the cool headgear with mini screens. The cast members were fabulous, such believable commitment to the evil plot and the fight choreography was awesome. Big shout out to the talented makeup crew too, especially for the punctured eye. Overclocking, well done, check it out.